Captain, let's play Hyper Dimension Neptunia Victory. Well, here's the city center. Oh man, this is way more messed up than I thought. It's crazy, huh? It happened in a flash. There was a really loud noise. It's so mean to do this to a city. Oh, Pluty's getting upset. You want to get transforming? Hmm? May I? Sure. May as well break the kids in now. It'd suck if they froze up during the last boss fight. Um, what are you planning? You kept ominously mentioning when she transforms before. Just look forward to it, okay? Go for broke, Pluty. Okie dokie. Here she comes. <laughs> Nice to meet you all over again, everyone. Yumi, Rom, Ram. What's going on? She's a completely different person than she was before. That's nuts. I get a really creepy vibe from her. I think she's dangerous. Don't be such scaredy cats. I won't scratch. Hard. I'm more interested in chastising Nebu, who felt it best to keep these cute little ones to herself. <laughs> Wrongo. These girls are more like Nepgear's party, you know? I see. Then since I'm here in her place, they are now mine. Well, honestly, you should probably let them discuss that idea amongst themselves. <laughs> no! Stay away from us, weirdo! Who should I begin with? I suppose my favorite plaything in this toy chest is... Rom? <laughs> hey! Rom's in danger! Hurry up and help her, Uni! Why do I have to do it? No! No! Of course you go for the quiet one. Do not be afraid, little one. I'll be quite careful with you. No! You made Rob cry, you big jerk! So, come on, punish her, Uni! And once again, why are you making me do something? The two of you are feeling left out, are you? Fine. I'll play with all my toys at once. My legs won't move. No, back off, crazy lady. Don't get anywhere close to me. <laughs> no! No! Hooray! That was so thrilling. I hereby baptize you children into the creepy secret ways of Ludia Fellowship. Oh, oh, stupid! I hate this! I'm going home! Wow, you were about 30% more insane today. I wanted to stop you earlier, but couldn't. Did I go a little too far? Oopsies, I'm sorry. No! Ah, stop it! These cops are tough and crunchy. They'll get over it in like 20 seconds. Oh man, now I totally get what you were hinting at, Neptune. Pretty wild, right? That's why she's so much more reliable than Nepgear. Get it? Yeah, but we're going to suffer a lot more friendly fire from now on. Oh, this is new. Actually, no, it's not. It's just the first dungeon we went as Nep and Nep gear. This was the one before we took the witch. Oh my god, that's out here already? Let me test the war, see if I'm strong enough for him. Uh oh. They don't have the insanely broken uh, CPU ring and stuff like that on these two. I've already got hit hard. Time to die. This is a problem. Maybe I bring mages back in. Okay. Cause you're not gonna be very effective at all. Okay. Oh well. It's like a fairly strong weapon I bought for you guys. Um, yeah. 
not that much experience I could get in other places. Coliseum was open up to new things, but I just kept going. I'm going up against Final Boss. I better go with everything at the ready. a bit of confidence to turn your gaze from me during a fight. Or maybe she finally accepted that there's no hope for her to beat the three of us. Big mouth on such small fry. Who allowed you to speak? I don't need permission to talk. The one struggling to beat down the small fry should stop babbling. Aw, it's so sad you couldn't even tell I was playing around. This is why CPU should not be allowed to exist. We can't listen to you joke with us forever. It's time to end this. I was thinking the same thing. But look, a few more enter the fray. I'll play with you for a bit longer before finishing you off. I was hoping they'd join us. <sighs> Nappy, you sure do have a big city. I'm so tired. Nah. It's not too big. It's also not laid out in a complex fashion akin to other dungeon designs. Uh, by complex fashion you mean the same fucking dungeon design over and over again for s most places, Nep? It's honestly because all the damage and mayhem caused the city landscape to change a bit. We've come so far, but we haven't seen our sisters yet. Maybe they finished and went home without us? Are they really strong over here? Uh-huh. Super strong. Let's not exaggerate. They don't compare to me. But if they did wrap it up, this was pointless. I don't think it was pointless that you came back, but... We want to know why you brought her back with you instead! Uh-huh. Hmm? What are you trying to say? Are you finally here? So late! Whoa! <gasps> Sorry. That was really surprising! Oh, it's Ray. I've been waiting for you for so long! If I knew it would take you so long, I would have played with them some more. Them? <sighs> she beat him. Noir? Wh what? Don't tell me you lost! Run! Uh-oh. Bert's dead for good. No, no. She's just unconscious. Seriously, don't kill her off. Ray, did you do this? Oh, so she's not dead? I thought I hit her pretty hard with that last shot. <laughs> At least the CPUs are built to withstand a stomping. Ah, they're like roaches. You did this to Noir. Hmm? And you actually look like a roach. Right down to those black clothes and antennae. What? M my fashion is not meant to resemble a roach. You. <laughs> Are you really a roach? No, of course not! Wait, why does it feel like everyone backed away from me? Shut up, Uni! If you're just gonna screw around, do it somewhere else! Uh, how did I turn into the punching bag here? You really hurt... my sister! Yeah, what's up with doing all this horrible stuff? Hurting everyone, destroying worlds... Didn't I tell you from the very beginning? CPUs are unnecessary. It is better that their nations be turned to ash. Huh? I think you embellished it a little, because that sounds a bit too extreme. Uh, but anyway, I'm seriously ticked off. I'm not gonna forgive you for this. Oh? If you won't forgive me, whatever will you do? That should be obvious. <laughs> I will stop you by force. And make it so you can never attempt such a thing again. Quite a smart mouth, CPU. Don't act so cocky just because you beat my other self. These fallen CPUs couldn't lift a finger, let alone hand, against me, despite teaming up. I'll recognize your strength, but you'll see that we're a bit different than them. Go, Flutie. Um, the ones over here are different from the ones over there, but... I don't really like anyone other than me playing with them like this. Flutie, 
What are you mumbling about? Ah, it's confusing me. Enough. Any who strike my precious toys will answer to my heel. Holy crap! She's back! N no! Stay calm. There's nobody we'd rather have on our side right now. Come on, let's join them. Fine. Uh-huh. She's the only level 90 that's here. This is a foe our sisters failed to defeat. We have to muster up our courage. Okay. There are squirmy useless ones amongst the CPUs as well, I see. It would annoy me to let you live, so I'll erase you as well. What a pain. Did you just call us useless? Meh. I'm just gonna say that when we put our minds to it, we're as tough as our sisters. I shouldn't have to warn you, but it's not a good idea to take these kids lightly. Since she insulted you so badly, you need to pay her back in kind. <laughs> Whoever punishes her in the most inventive way will get a special treat. Treat? Uh, I'm on a diet or something. Uh, you need to have my treat. Uh, I'm on a diet too. Trudy, don't weaken our allies. I'm so sorry. Their reactions are too cute. I couldn't help myself. to continue talking? Uh, CPU's just hem and haw, no matter the situation. Now prepare yourselves! We don't need to prepare, because we've already decided that we will win. I recommend you prepare, because no matter how much you beg or cry, I won't let up! Begin. Yeah, Uni's here. I probably could have brought in the other DLC characters. I didn't think that. I wasn't thinking of that because I don't use them. Uh, but I maxed out in this, so maybe I won't move to. Uh, here, what you call it? Oh wow, she took that. Oh no. I'll finish this at once. Sleep in a moment. Oh, isn't it his agility? Isn't it his agility? No, it's tech. Well, oh, you're gonna try something. But you gotta get over here and stay far away. I'll blast you with maximum firepower! Show me a good fight! Okay, not bad, you contributed. Ooh, that's it. Focus on me. I'm the higher one. I do one too. This will be strong. I didn't have to con move. Do that. Hopefully, I'll have to do this one time. She tries to do the same thing again. Yeah, but Neptune, are you okay with this? Stopping her once she gets like this is an exercise in futility. Just let her have her way. <laughs> huh? Why did this psycho start laughing all of a sudden? Hmm. 
Hmm? You've broken down into hysterics with only that? The fun was just about to begin. <laughs> fine! Fine! You win! I'll admit I lost this time. What's she talking about? This doesn't sound like just sour grapes. Perhaps a second form? Right! This isn't over! So long as I have power, my desires will never end! Oh, so you've still got some energy left. I can't believe you were faking with me. No! What's that light? I don't like it! Hm. I'd rather not have to, but I'll leave this to you. My name's Quar, bitch! At least get that stuck inside your cobweb of a brain! Now then, I'll just... Do somewhere... I'll... Somehow... Oh! She collapsed! Is she okay? Is she... Still alive? She's not dead or anything. Her body just... Went empty. And what does Darksty plan to do with that dark flame? Quar! Damn it, Quar! Ugh, screw it. Yeah, it sucked to get interfered with again. So I'm gonna split to another dimension where you ain't. A dimension we don't exist in? Sure, that's what I said. We won't meet again, so peace out! Wait, I won't let you do whatever you want. <laughs> like I'd wait because some pigtailed bitch asked me to. Adios, dumbasses! <laughs> Disappeared. Huh? What? So in the end, what was any of this about? It seems we have no means to interfere with their plans. Huh? But that's crummy, right? Not entirely. This at least means our world and Fudi's world are now at peace. This ending doesn't satisfy me. It feels like what I imagined blueballing to be. I guess. Either way, it's not a satisfying ending. Yeah, but still, I was worried about spending all my stuff on that and then having to fight the second form without the uh, EXE drive. I'm the least satisfied of all! <laughs> um, if you yell like that, my ears get some nasty feedback. Oh, sorry! No, wait! I will scream and shout! You won't stop me, right? Try and lower your voice a bit. Really now? Are my concerns being properly conveyed? Chill, sis. We get it. We left you in another dimension. You're pissed. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> hmm. Hey! I heard a yawn! You're over there napping! You're so totally napping! Ludia, please do not do anything to rile her up any further. But I'm so... Look, we just finished up the final battle. Let us rest for a minute, would ya? How many days do you think have passed since that battle? You are both slacking off. Unless you both work really hard, that pathway won't open again. I won't be able to come home. Has that sunk into your thick candy-coated skull? Don't you want to see me again, Neptune? Nectar, your voice. Ah, this feedback. I want to see you, honest, but... Come on! You're not a tyke anymore, so even if it's a few days... A few days for who? It's only been a few days for you, but it's already been years for me! I like it so much more here. I can relax as much as I want. I heard that! You shouldn't say that! Pichi and Ayak and Kappa all miss you! Oh, them? I guess so, huh? But it's only been a few days. Trying to explain, it's been years for us. I apologize for the trouble Plutia has caused you. You don't sound it. Not at all. Neptune has grown quite noisy for you, I see. She may get noisy, but she is a very hard worker. I am happy to keep her over here. That causes me even more trouble, however. When Plutia is here, Neptune does even less work. It really sounds like it sucks for Neptune here. Want to get working for real, Pluty? Um, maybe after one more nap. You can nap after you get back here, can't you? Please hurry up and let me come home! 
Oh wait, that was the... <laughs> okay. That was the, uh, the good ending, but not the true ending. And not the normal ending if I just not get the... Oh wow, that looks cool. Oh yeah, someone said he looked like an Ava unit. Look at it now! <laughs> I'm Probart, what's your name? Neptune. I will give my all to protect you. Did that change because I have it set to that? Well, it looks different. Oh no, that's that's Bert. Maybe. Is that Bomberman? Okay, so odds are I got, uh, basically got my work cut out for me, because I really, uh, really just New Game Plus to get back to where I was, because I don't have a save that went back as far as that, though. Otherwise, I think the game ends at Chapter 8 or something like that. Like, it, like this extends to 9 and 10 if I do the other endings, so I have to work harder for that. One more. Ah, oh, Lady Nipman, buy new hardware here. You rock, what's that, Nep here? Oh, this game where you... It is Zelda, Nep. Rock, paper, scissors? Uh-oh. Something on my feet? Oh! Oh, look at this, uh, Spy vs. Spy. I recognize some of these names. Is that copy? Uh-oh. Multiple body parts form. Victory? Hello. My name's Noir. From now on, I'll be fighting alongside you. Is that a... Uh... Interesting with the newer characters. Eh? Throw Rom Ram and what's her name back in so late though? Hmm. You're a true king. Oh my god, what the... That looks so cool! Why couldn't I fight that? Maybe there's shit like that in the uh, Coliseum side of the mess with. Again, I kind of blitz through just to get uh, done as quick as I can. Uh, the dungeon suffered, but the store to like push the story together and all that stuff, that's like the strongest part. I only cut out a lot of stuff because it was like, um, I've seen this, you've seen this dungeon over and over time and time again. And most of the enemies are like, not that new from the second game. Still, I enjoy it. Did get anything else beyond that? Oh, wait a minute. Good ending, yeah. A large whirlpool has appeared here. Dive into this and you will activate replay mode. You'll keep your current levels and be game the new. Explaining it is embarrassing. Well, thanks for that. Should we dive in? Play again? After jumping in, you will be prompted to save and the game will return to the title screen. If you end without saving, your clear data will not be saved. Play again? No. Sounds like a silly time sink. Wanna go take a nap instead? Should you be open about your laziness of CPUs? Well, you never know. Also, you need new weapons? Nah. So we're just here in this area? I can't go back and do like the previous stuff? Nah. Well... I gotta do this anyway just to get to the normal ending because like I said I don't have a save that far back anymore where I got the the five items for uh Pishi to bring her back that's I think that's where it cuts off at the normal ending as Anani death put it so let me work towards that I'll uh, do that save and I'll keep this as a true save and I shall return whoa I've won not like you did it all by yourself moron that was the expected outcome. Our sole goal was not to emerge victorious, however. I'm getting all weak. Feel my power leaving. Boo. She's back to her normal form. 
It seems the real match begins now, Nebby. I'm ready, Paco. So we gave you a pretty good smacking around. You remember us now? It's me, Plutia. She's in a lot of pain. Maybe the brainwashing's starting to wear off. Yo, Pico! Come on, come on, hurry up and remember! Wah! Uh, she's crying? I lost real bad! Mommy and Daddy are gonna be mad at me! Uh, what do we do? Don't ask Moose Slippers, girl! She never cried this much when she was with us! Are they really that strict with you? They get mad over this? Your parents are... They won't! They're nice, but they'll get so mad at me! There's no use in talking to a messed up brat like this. I'm not comfortable dealing with crying children. Divvy the work amongst yourselves, please. Yeah, this is really Planet Tune's problem. I'll take a pass. Come on, you cold-hearted fudgicles! I didn't see an S in there, so it's not fudgesicle. <laughs> Who says fudgesicle? What should I do? Neppy Jr.? No, PG, don't cry. No! Don't touch me! No. Oh. It's been a long time since I took a hit square in my tummy. Winners don't do violent physical outbursts. What should we do? No clue, but I do kind of want to cry with her. <laughs> I'm the one who's earned the right to cry here. After that, please should continue to cry and throw a tantrum for hours. When she finally wore herself out and fell asleep, we took her back to Planet Tune. She began to scream and cry all over again when she woke up and found herself in a foreign place. She smeared Neptune's pudding all over the world and ripped Flutia's stuffed animal apart. Hurled his swore into a wall and flattened her, then broke IF's cell phone, making her cry. Kampa was on pins and needles. It took several days for Pichi to calm down. Afterwards, thing retur things returned to normal, but it seems Pichi really doesn't remember us. Kampa, let's play now! Well, what do you want to play? Uh, Z Monsters! Oh, I'm not very good at physical or competitive games. She's not exaggerating. If you go out, Pico, you could probably kill Kampa. You can't play? Just play with Neb. She won't die if you rough her up a bit. Please keep your distance from me while you play. I would not like to be a pancake again. Whatever, I'll play with Nep. Neptuna. Oh, it's not Neptune, kid. Oh, I see you call her correct name. You called me Neptuna. Neptune, you're Neptune. I mean, that's accurate and rather insightful, but it's also kind of wrong. She called me Plutia before, too. Not cool. She's always just called me Nepgear. So, not even in this picture. <laughs> Poor Neppy. Poor Nep Jr. Let's play Neptune. Yeah, bring it on! See, and this reminds me of when we all played together as kids. It's nostalgic for us, but... I want to play a Pushy, too. Plutia, you're too slow, so no. Boo, Pushy's a mini. By the way, the other me has asked you to hurry back home three times now. No good in this hood, I'm afraid. I can't go home and leave Pico like this. We gotta get as close as we were before, our memory's gotta come back. I feel the same. It wouldn't feel right to go home now. But if her memories come back, wouldn't it be even harder to go home? Oh, good point. This is fine, Iffy. It's okay if Nep Nep decides to stay with us forever. Uh-huh, being together is great. We'll cross that bridge once we build it or whatever. Nep we're in the middle of a sea monster attack, rah! My bad, me lady. Even if her memories don't come back, it's kind of neat to grow close to her all over again. But as usual, Pichu doesn't even ask to play with me. Okay, so that ending's got at the end of chapter 8, if you didn't get the, the five items to jog her memory. Anyway, this is the final... we're back to an earlier save. This is the last uh, ray event at the end of this place. I don't know if I went through here or not. Oh, that's, bad. that's a bad sign. Anyway, I'll see you at the event. House Coast almost got caught in that nonsense. Whoa, amazing carnage! 
There's nothing left at all. It's just a raised field. Shit, you're still alive? Amazing you still have this much power left. Speak up, man. Gone. Oh. Yo, I can't hear you articulating shit. It's gone. All of it. Yeah, it's all gone. A total wasteland. Power. Notion. People. Everything's... You regretting it? You did it because you wanted to. It's all gone because I... Turned it into that. Well, yeah, maybe the wrong one was chosen. I don't know who is in charge of the choosing, though. Is your personality back to normal? Because of my power. Because of a CPU. It shouldn't have turned out this way. I didn't need this. CPU shouldn't. Right, with that, I should be set on the true ending path now. I'm thinking it's the same way to go, too, so I gotta get back to chapter 10 now. And do all that. Nap station! Didn't do this on chapter 10, so I'll show this off, too. Oh, no news? Just back to the wallet crusher. G Neptum? Rise, Neptum! Let me introduce our guest today who has had the chance to try this robot out. It's Pluty. Hello. Let's dive right in. Tell everyone your experience. It was stronger than I thought, so I turned many enemies to a steaming pool of blood right away. Oh. Actually getting, uh, buying a weapon for Plutia. Pretty hardcore damage to say with a smile. Seriously, it's just restorative items. Does that mean that you yourself are strong? Was it hard to handle? Even I can use this. I think it's pretty simple. And so, and so fun. In what way, dare I ask? When it was attacking and stuff? I was like, there and die and don't make me use this. Then nobody was left. Anyone could perform a genocide with this robot thing. You really shouldn't smile when you say that. I have no comment. I guess that can happen though when you deal the killing blow. Sometimes you keep the combo coming. It has supreme handling, so you won't make any silly mistakes in battle anymore. And it's cute. Looks like just like Neppy Jr. This might have had more of an impact on its actual functions. I want one on my own. The G Neptum? Is it expensive? Not at all. We're offering it today at a very special rate. That's so cheap. I can afford it. Yeah. Turn dangerous baddies and other annoying jerkwads into mincemeat with the G Neptum. That's a pretty hardcore threat. Not like I need to hear that from your smiling jaws. You're up. Even if everyone buys one, I'm the only one who can equip it. Plutie, don't say things like that. Thank you for your patronage. And now we get the quiz, right? Been a good boy and girl, still got a good credit score. The most awesome shopping show ever. Oh, two wallet nut crushers. Here's today's product, a high-level restorative item among restorative items, Netball EX2. A supercharged version of the original, with one dose you'll go from near death to full health. A necessary item on those on the last leg of their adventure. So fast, instant even. What's wrong? I've been thinking, but how do we heal up so instantaneously? How? Well, it's a healing item, and if we don't heal up, we'd be in serious trouble. But is it weird to sell this drug that has instant effects? Neptune, please don't put quotes around that word. It makes it sound kind of dangerous. But it heals you way too fast. This is a really strong drug. It's got to have some wicked side effects, right? It heals you, but gives you the runs. Neptune, that's not right. Don't say anymore. The sponsor will get upset with us. But I mean, without knowing this, I've been popping these things like a bad habit. Ooh. This dr- Hmm? Uh-oh. Technical difficulties. Please wait a moment. And with that, we are happy to present the side effect free and safe for use medicine, Nipple EX2. It's a must-have item. That'll- It's totally okay to use. It will heal you instantly. Refer. And with that, we have a very sad announcement. This is the final episode of Wallet Crusher Nep. Thank you for your support up till now. We deeply apologize, first to our sponsors, and then to all those who were troubled with the news. 
We will redouble our efforts so something like this doesn't happen in future shows. So goodbye. Now comes the quiz. Million Up Quiz. The last episode of our long-running quiz show. Thanks for tuning in. Three questions as always. If you got them all right so far, you might get one million credits. Well, so much for that. That's why they call it the Million Up Quiz, though. Who's the character always with Ray and it resembles Histoire? That's Quar. Nipple SP. What nation did Ray Wright's roll over? Huh, <laughs> Ni O G O. I wonder if that's the next one. Taru. What food does egg Neptune hit? Eggplants. 27 questions. Great work, everyone, for real. 27? Kind of a stupid number to stop at. I agree, but there were various circumstances at work here, so... It's time for the final point, Tal. Did you answer them all correct? Are you a million up? If you did, one million credits for you. Ah, lame. You failed. Well, you're no good at all. I thought there were so many easy questions that anyone would win. Except for that one thing where you're like, Who's hand- Which one of these is left-handed? <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> they carry over their stuff from this playthrough. Will they really need the money? And with the hypothetical- With that hypothetical, we're ending Million Up Quiz. See you some other time, folks. Did it work? I guess it did. But we got to this point last time, so... Nap Nap? Did she leave already? Nah, I'm still present and accounted for. But, uh... This is kind of a problem, isn't it? What the heck?! Wow... It's ginormous! It's so different than when Neppy Jr. fell on Noir. Uh-uh-uh, you mustn't get too close. You might end up falling on someone like Nepgear did. Please stop bringing that up. Misty, what the heck, girly? What's up with this thing? I would like to ask you the very same question. What sort of mischief have you stirred up this time, you two? That's the poorest way to put it in the history of putting things poorly. We did nothing wrong. She's being truthful. We just did our best to get as many shares as possible. Um, if this thing's this big, then maybe instead of just you two... Indeed. Could all of us pass through? You could, yes. In fact, you may be able to travel between the dimensions as you please. Ah, so that's how I get all the rest of the trophies. Which means... Continuing off this. Tootin' kitties. Even if I walk into the light, I can come back whenever I want. Well, I cannot guarantee the whenever aspect. Okay, I wanna go too! Yes, let's go together. Jeez, you got everyone all emotional for nothing. Wow, this is great! Isn't it, Nappy? I was like half loud cry, half Tarzan yell. <laughs> hey, no bawling on my watch. Nobody is listening to me. See, I told you it was pointless to create such a serious mood. I knew this would happen. You're trying way too hard. We feel the need too. Is it safe to have created a game like this? We may have stepped into forbidden territory. Too late for that. Yes. 
You cannot delete something that you have already created. That may be true. We don't have time for this. We gotta deal with the whole world ending plot right away. Yes, I understand. We will deal with this in due time. And there is nothing more promising than having all of you join together. Uh, that almost sounded sappy and stuff, but there's no reason to be sad with this thing. Let's all hold hands and skip into the gate. To the other game and just wait! Aw, come on, Iffy. That was the energetic end to the scene. Why are you butting in? If all of you travel over to that world, what happens here? Oh, good point. This world has its own share of problems, doesn't it? I'll stay here, but I don't think I can do that much all by myself. I'm just an information agent. It'd be best if we left one person in charge of each nation. That's not a bad idea, but... Whoever remains behind won't get the spotlight in any of the final scenes. I'm going because I said so! Um, sorry, Neppy Jr., but... What? No way! Neptune and I have priority seating on this flight! Hey, don't fight! Isn't this where you need to use the power of friendship to stand as one? I know this needlessly loud voice. Copy-paste? Hey there, buddies! We came to help out our friends who are in a pinch! But destroying this world, really? You're a bigger deal than I thought! No, I'm nothing special. <laughs> Modesty! Leave this side to us. Feel free to travel back and forth as you like! Go! He said to go, but, uh... He just said leave it to us. Does he mean to say? It does not matter, does it? You must hurry over here and... Hmm? You are breaking up. Hi, sweetheart. Sorry for butting in. So he did survive. <gasps> the creeper. Did you just hack Isti? I'll be gone soon enough, so it's okay. For now, I would like to help you out. Nobody can gather information quite as well as moi. What's your game? There's no ulterior motive. You helped when I was in a bind, so allow me to repay you for that. I, I'm so sorry. I've caused you all a great deal of trouble. Don't worry. It was a stimulating experience, and I fell prey to a marvelous perk. Right, Noir? Don't remind me of those fakes. Aw, those two are like best friends, huh? Parting is such sweet sorrow, but I don't think this is the time for a long conversation. Mr. Bad will watch over Last Station, and the other two are heading your way now. And here I thought I could retire and spend my hard-earned money on my daughters. Father, are you okay? Please don't overdo it. Don't worry. This is a simple matter of moving the citizens to a safe location. It's easy enough for the man who used his business savvy for the good of all Louis. And with that, I may actually try hard for the first time in a long while. Ciao, cuties! <laughs> the connection has returned. I wondered what I should do if such a thing happened, but... Aw, Daddy's gone! Welcome back, Isti! <sighs> just says whatever he wants and vanishes. He did mention that two more are on their way here, no? Two others? If they're who I think they are, I doubt they'll be much help. We can hear you, you know. Could you not lump me together with this useless rat? I don't mind not being useful. I'd rather not walk around at such a dangerous time, chumps. Ooh, you two came too. Now we have the strength of 100 friends! The little girl and her little rat friend! Don't call me little girl! Stop wasting your time here! The children of both worlds are in deep trouble! Well, we've been trying to leave for quite a while. It's like a game of whack-a-mole, but instead of animals, more people keep popping up. No excuses! I don't get the whole situation! But I'll protect the children on this side with my life! Hmm. I just realized you're the only sage we've never actually fought. So hurry up and do whatever it is you're supposed to do! Abnus, I heard you're the source of all this. We'll sit down for a nice long chat later. Oh, please go 
easy on me. We'll leave all the work to you. I'll just chill over here and... If you say you'll help us, I'd be so happy, Mr. Mouse. It would mean so much to me. Let me at him! I'll fight the final boss alone if my lovely Koppa asks me to! He follows the formula to a T. If this many are hanging out back here, it should be okay. Right, Iffy? They're former enemies, so I'm a bit hesitant, but... Beggars can't be choosers. We're counting on you. I'll live up to the fiery trust you've placed in me. We'd do our best even if you didn't tell us to. Hey, Rat, quit swooning, would ya? Can it, you tiny broad? Only Kampa can command me. <sighs> what are you doing, Wraith? Give us our orders. Huh? Um, me? You really seriously suck. But you're still our leader. Hurry up and command us. Where should I go, boss? If it's your order, I promise not to complain. You'd still listen to me? Cut her some slack. When women get older, their minds can't crank out ideas all that fast. Oh, he's making fun of my age, even now. But, but I understand. All of you, listen up. We can lead this to them, right? Uh-huh, they're nice people. Okay, that's who we should go. Yep. We're gonna slide on back to our world. Wow, did we make it? No doubt about it. This is my old stomping ground. Oh, I'm getting nostalgic. Neptuna's world so cool! It's been such a long time. This is near our Basilicom, isn't it? I'm glad we arrived without a hitch. I expected someone to magically land on me again. Is that really something you should come to expect? The path back to our world doesn't look like it'll vanish. We can go back anytime. Enough chatting. We need to find out what's happening at their Basilicom. Of course, follow me. After being away for so long, I'd rather surround myself with stuff I've missed, but oh well. We have a mission. I'm gonna make biggest i I'm gonna get more story because it's now I'm on the true path? And a lot of these events weren't here before. I have to go here to meet up with the uh, CPU candidates. Yo, Biggesty, we're back. Hello, Explorer. Oh, you two. My goodness. Yes, welcome home. Oh, it's been like forever. It really feels like ten, maybe even twenty years. Oh, oh dear. Please refrain from grabbing onto me like that. Welcome home, Neptune. I mean it. Oh, big Isti is so big! Huh? Isti grew up? My East Roller, don't grow up so fast and confuse poor Pishi. Don't be afraid. She's the same East War at her core. Okay. Can I touch her? Welcome, all of you. Even though this world is in a desperate time, you still came. <laughs> Is it okay to say nice to meet you at this point? Don't worry about us, man. The problem originated in our dimension anyway. Not to rush you, but this isn't the time for niceties. Correct. Allow me to summarize our current situation. What's going on in here? There's a lot of noise. Guests? Not fair! How come Isti always gets to have fun? Whoa! It's Nepgear! Nepgear's back, you guys! Yay! It's Ron and Ran and Muni! The prodigal daughters return! Uh, sorry for the delay. Hey! When did you get back? You were supposed to hurry up and tell me the moment you returned! I missed you, Miss Nepgear. <sighs> You're a real jerk for leaving me and Ron here! Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. Wait. You're all closing in on me pretty fast. Oh, I feel like it's been ages since anyone has made a fuss over me. Wow. Neppy Jr. is so popular over here. Yep. These miniature adults definitely prefer Nep Jr. <laughs> um, pardon me, everyone. I'm about to explain something rather important. Things 
grew so lively in a split second. Um, these kids are... These short stats are the kid sisters of this world's noir and blonde. I have sisters. Excuse me, this was not meant to be a time to make small talk. Huh? Why is my sister here? I thought she was... Uh, no, um... Blonde's here too, huh? Wait, why are you dressed in red? You look like a candy cane. A candy cane, huh? Um, that's not our sister? They're the blonde and noir from the other dimension. They're the same, but not. What? Uh, ew. Sorry. I just got really nervous for some reason. Uh, there's no reason to be nervous. If you act all formal, it'll just make me do it too. Um, nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you. Uh, is she really different? Are you sure she didn't just change clothes and trick you? She's kind of different, but she reminds me of Blonde. Everyone, I must demand that you listen to me at once. Whoa, this whole awkward dealie is so fresh and so clean. It's like a fresh start. Your pluty. I have my share of envy as well. But I suppose I do have the lovely little Pishi. Stop hugging me, Bert! <laughs> Stop acting so timid! If you're supposed to be my sister, act a little more confident! Uh, I'm sorry. I guess the noir of their world is just as strict as mine. Oh, um... Sorry, I didn't mean to put you down. Um, uh, I don't know what to say to these people. <laughs> You're kind of funny. I'm Ram. You're just lucky enough to become my friend. Whoa! I'm Ram's friend! At least they were excited to see me for a moment. I am begging you to listen to my voice right now. And thus, five hours later. Five hours? Huh? Did five hours really go by? No. About 30 minutes have, however. No matter what I did, none of you listened to me. I'm sorry. I got caught up in the moment. No need to get all moody. Uh, is the big Isty angry? There, there. You didn't do anything wrong, Pishi. You were all always like this. I tried to be a diligent helper, and you all screw around. Hang on a sec. We were in the wrong, but this isn't the time to lecture us, right? Let's not waste any more time. Oh, it pains me to hear that from you all, but you are right. I will briefly explain our status. Ray Rice and her Citizens' Rights Group used a mysterious power to destroy Planetune. It happened a few hours ago. But had you listened to me earlier, it would have been minutes ago. Uh, let's just move on. Continue, my diligent buddy. Around that time, a barrier was erected in the city, and copies of all of you began prowling around. To assess the situation, I have sent out the other CPUs. The CPU candidates were on standby here until you returned. IF and Compa are guiding people to safety. Standby sounds official and all, but we were just abandoned here like we needed to be babysat. Cheer up, me. Here, let me pat your head to cheer you up. Yeet! <laughs> You're patting my head, not killing a bug. Don't mess up my hair. Do you truly intend to derail this conversation? Sorry. Any word from the other CPUs? None. The bombardment of the city has ceased, so I feel as though they have made some headway. As expected of us, I'm sure. Wow! Q3 are doing so well! Yeah! Blonde's awesome! Then we could just leave it to those three, couldn't we? Not a snowball's chance in my mouth. If we do that, I won't look like the main character. It won't be that easy, I'm sure.
This is someone who transcended dimensions to attack our world. I know, I'm just saying. If things stay as they are, Planetune may be destroyed. You all must hurry and... Yep, gotcha. I don't need to be told to save the day or whatever. After this whole conversation, I think the sense of urgency has been lost completely. I've been away for a while, but it's my duty to protect my nation. If it were just Planetune, I wouldn't really care. But this threatens your whole world. A fight with someone who's not my sister, but basically is? Fine. I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> we get to meet the Noir, and Blani, and Vert of this world! I'm so excited! We can come too, right? I don't want to stay here. Let's go with Ram! Whee! Of course. Let's all go together. I leave this in your hands, then. Please use your might to save Planetune and our game industry. Yeah! There we go. I was like, oh my god, we're not done yet. Now... Leave here. There's the city center. BC 2012. That's our dimension there. I can do stuff here. There's events going on here too? They're probably like meetups with the other characters. The DLC. Well, I lost track of time playing, so now I'm late. <laughs> uh, why you say it here? Anyway, maybe I'll brave the trenches and see what's up. Plutia, return to your human form, I'm begging you. Aw, oh, but I don't want to. Unless I vent my frustrations every now and then, I'll explode. Please do not use me as your release. Would Neptune not work just as well? I'm saving myself for Neppy until later. What should I do to you today? Please do not come any closer! You mustn't run from me. I'll make it so you forget how far you've read. No, you must not remove my precious bookmark. Anything but that. This is a pretty specific type of torture. Rather not get involved in this, so maybe I'll go back to playing. Right. So with this, we're all set for the finale of Hyperdimension Neptunia Victory. Same Nep time, same Nep channel! Snip.